Alright, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Xlabs and all their clients are quote unquote dead. Now that's only partially the truth. You can still play on these, but it's just a bit more of a hassle than before. It's worth it though to not have your PC be vulnerable by playing on Steam servers. There's chapters for each part of the video, so if you're looking for a specific thing, you can jump to that. There will be links to all the things you could potentially need in the description. If any of these links stop working or I need to correct something, just leave a comment letting me know, and I'll do my best to update it or put a pinned comment. I spent all day Monday compiling this together, so I would appreciate it if you decided to give a like and a sub. Otherwise, let's start. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go over is if you don't have anything installed. I'm going to go over IW4X first, since the process is slightly different. In order to get the files for this game, you'll have to go to the Google Drive link I put in the description. Click the IW4X at the top of the screen and click download. It should download the game in 2GB increments. Once it's done, you just look at the numbers of each zip file and extract them one by one, then combine the folders. It is a bit tedious, but unfortunately that's how Google Drive works. Now for the other cons, you'll need the torrent in order to get the files. To do this, you're going to want to go to the archive.org links in the description. It should load to a page that is an archived version of the Xlabs website. You're going to go to the section that says do not own the game on Steam and click the blue text that says full game torrent. Now it might be slow, but it should download the torrent file. Now you can use any torrenting software you want, but I personally use Free Download Manager. I also recommend using a VPN. I didn't use one and I'm fine, but depending on your ISP, it might give you issues. Just open the program and drag the torrent in, and wait for it to download. It might take a while, especially for Ghost and Advanced Warfare. You can do this method for IW4X, but the version you will get is slightly outdated. One little side thing that might get lost to time that I want to mention is to install S1X on an SSD if possible. You'll get timed out from servers if you don't load in time, and that's mainly an issue with that specific game. Once you download the COD you want, the next thing you want to do is go to the Mediafire link and download the Launcher Bypass file. Once you download it, extract it to a folder. There will be three folders for the three clients, so go to the client folder you want and open the README file for it. Follow those instructions and your game should be ready to go. But what if you already have the game and clients? Well, it's tricky then. If you've played in the past few weeks or even month or two, you should only have to go through the launcher bypass step I mentioned in the last part. But this especially applies to the Ghost and Advanced Warfare client, since they didn't get updated very often. If it's been a while, however, I would just recommend a clean install that I explained in the last chapter. I had to do this for Ghosts, and while it was a hassle, it did end up working. If you want to keep your stats and your classes, it's not very hard. Just copy over the players folder from your old installation to your newer one. Everything should transfer over cleanly. Now you should be ready to play and launch the game. Either use the IW4X EXE in the folder for that client, or use the bat files for the other two. Everything should load up cleanly and be in the client. If you want to get everything, go in the console by hitting the tilde key above tab and type unlock all. You can do the same for your name by typing name, space, and then your name. Now as you go in, you'll notice that the server browser doesn't work. This is because the master servers for these clients are down. You may see some if you wait a minute in the server browser for IW4X, but that isn't very reliable. This doesn't mean that there isn't servers up though. There are three different methods to go on these servers depending on the client. The first method is specific to certain servers and the IW4X client, but it is the easiest by far. You're going to want to go to the RepZ site that I have linked and look for a server you want to join. You click the play button and you should get a prompt saying to open IW4X multiplayer. Accept, then wait a few seconds, and then you should get put in. This seems to be only a thing with RepZ servers, but it is super easy, so I wanted to mention it. This next method is the favorites method, and again, it only works on IW4X. Go to the OneDrive link in the description and you should see two files. Download these files and open up your IW4X game directory. You're going to want to put these two files into your players folder. So open that, copy the files, and click paste. That's all you need to do, and you only have to do it once. Once you open the browser and go to the favorites tab, you should see a decent amount of servers there. It's not all of them, but it's still a good amount. Now this is the method that works on every client, so I'm going to show it on IW6X for this demonstration. Go to the description and click any one of the links I put there. These are links to a good amount of the various servers running on these clients. I would recommend RaidMax though, since it has the most comprehensive list. Go to the name of your client and look for a server. Once you find one you like, click on the play button. It should pop up with either connect and then an IP there, or just an IP. Copy this. Go back to your game and click the tilde key above tab to open your console. If the thing you copied had connected in already, just control V, paste it in, and click enter. If not, then type connect, then space, then paste. This should load you into the server. If any other clients get shut down, such as Plutonium, it should work the same as this. Raid Max, Nameless Noobs, and RepZ all have servers for these other clients, so it should work the same. There's an issue you can run into though. 
If you do this and it says joining server, then either does it forever, crashes the game, or doesn't work, then the most likely issue is that you're on an outdated client. Go to the chapter about updating if you need a tutorial on how to do that. This method should work in theory on IW4X, but I have personally not been able to get it to work. I think it's because the most updated version of the client I have is one version behind, so the connect prompt doesn't work. It may work for you, but if it doesn't, then try the other two methods I gave that work with this client. That's most of the XLAP stuff out of the way. So the big elephant in the room is the boy client. This also shut down, and I'm sure your biggest question is, can I still play it? The answer is maybe. If you didn't have the client prior, the answer as of now is no. But if you did, I have a tutorial for you in a minute. The reason you can't play right now if you didn't have it prior is because the early access required Discord integration. If you weren't in the Discord, then you can't get past this. I wasn't in the Discord, so that's where I'm stuck at right now. Before the Xlabs Discord was made read-only, so there were some rumblings of people working on a fix for this, but I have no idea how much work or how long it would take. If anyone has a fix or any extra info regarding Boy, uh, that potential fix, or anything similar, DM me on Twitter or Discord, you can email me using the email in my bio, or just leave a comment. It would help tremendously. Also, if you have an invite to the Discord, I certainly wouldn't mind it. Wink wink. <laughs> Now onto the yes part though. If you had access to the boy client and want to keep playing, then you can to my knowledge. If for some reason you don't have the BO3 files or the DLC, then go to the GitHub link, click the code button, then download a zip. Unzip that file and use whatever torrent you need for it. If you need help with torrenting, go to the new install portion of this video. Once everything is installed, go to the Mediafire link and install the boy latest update BMT file. Unzip this file and go into the boy folder. You're going to want to drag the boy exe into the directory of your BO3. Now go to the search bar, type in percent local app data percent, enter, then drag the boy folder into it. This should work and let the client start. If you're in the discord, it should theoretically work, but I can't test it myself. Connecting the servers is the same as method three, so go to that if you need help connecting. I wanted to end this by talking about some more big picture stuff. First and more importantly, get on Plutonium ASAP and make sure your stuff is updated. Archiving the Xlab stuff was hell, so don't let another situation like this happen to yourself if you have any mild interest in playing. This also applies to the H1 mod as well, as well as the mod you probably haven't even heard of called H2. Don't let these clients go the same way Xlabs did. And look. A lot of people are saying and are going to say that these games are completely dead now. They are a lot harder to get now, but they are always going to have a community around them. It's mainly up to people to just play. I'm going to keep playing and spreading the word about these because these have been important to me for over half a decade. I hate shilling for my own stuff, but I feel like it's valid here. I have a Discord that is mainly for YouTube stuff and not COD related, but if there is interest, I can definitely set up game nights to play these. Especially since it's quite hard to find lobbies for games like Ghost or Advanced Warfare. But I also extend the invitation to let me know if there's any communities around this stuff that still exist because I would happily promote them. If I get any, I'll put them in the description. If there's any issues, leave a comment and I'll try my best to help. Also, things got kind of messy in the mix of finding all this stuff, so if I used any of your stuff or links, just let me know and I can put a credit in. Finally, I would appreciate a like and a sub. Like I said, this took a while to put together, and hey, I plan on covering some content involving this stuff in the future, and maybe you'll enjoy some of my other content as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're able to continue enjoying these wonderful clients. Peace.